I'm TIG welding some stainless steel today. These are some quarter inch thick laser cut pieces and all the laser cuts have been cleaned. I'm only at about 103 to 105 amps for this joint. If this was carbon steel, I might be as much as 140 or 150, but stainless requires a little bit less heat, a little bit less amperage than carbon steel because it's not as thermally conductive. Heat builds up. And that's why when you start or restart, you want to get your puddle going really quickly within two or three seconds. Get moving quickly. Don't hang around there fiddling around with your filler metal, letting heat build up slow. Get that puddle going, get it moving, outrun the heat. Otherwise, heat can build up and you can't outrun it. This stainless piece had a pretty nice smooth mill finish on it. I ground part of it clean just to see if it would make a difference. Didn't really seem to make much difference. Now let's do the, the flat joints, the linear joints. I'm using a 7 clear cup for this too. Same amperage. Let the piece cool a while before I started. Notice my arc length. It's about equal to or less than the electrode diameter. That's a really good rule of thumb. Torch angle, I'm kind of leaned back a little bit. Not necessarily intentionally, but that's very forgiving as long as you've got that nice tight arc length. That's the main thing. The cup's doing a pretty good job of shielding. We'll come over this weld with a second pass and we'll switch cups here in just a second. Let it cool a little bit. I'll put a Jazzy 10 ceramic cup now. I like to use that clear cup for filming, but with a Jazzy 10, I can extend the electrode a good ways and it works okay for filming as well and does a much better job at shielding because it's got an additional layer of diffusers in there in addition to the gas lens that you use with it. So I'm using a 332-308L filler metal here, lay wire, and I'm just weaving over it. I need about 10 less amps than I did for that first pass. I'm weaving just wide enough to nip that corner and fill it in. And I'm pushing the rod just a little bit when it wants to take it so that I don't leave a scalloped area. It fills it in right to that corner, but then no more than that. So 95 amps is what it takes to do that on this piece. Probably could use more amperage, probably could use a little less amperage, but 95 seemed to be right in the ballpark. The Jazzy 10 is good for all kinds of stainless, especially small bore piping. You're going to get great coverage with a long stick out whenever you need that long stick out. You can walk the cup with it because it's ceramic. It just does a great job on stainless steel and also 4130 chromoly. This is the first pass of a two pass weld, but you can kind of see that argon shielding envelope there. It's, it's rather large. It's keeping it silver a long way. With chromoly, if you're doing a two-pass weld, that second pass is going to go in a lot better if the first pass is shielded really well, like you see here. For convenience, we put together these combo kits that have a clear cup as well as a ceramic cup, one kit for each torch type. Sometimes a job calls for a clear cup, sometimes it calls for ceramic. It's really easy to switch. You slip the clear cup over with the O-ring, and to swap over to the ceramic cup, just remove it, pop off the O-ring, and then the white ceramic cup threads on just like any other ceramic cup. Once you have the adapter kit or the 45V44 gas lens, it opens up a lot of other options to you for other Furic cups. This is an 8 Pro cup, and you can really see here how it's lighting everything up, and you can see every detail around you, where you're going, where you've been, things that might be in your way. And once again, in order to make the ceramic cups work, all you need to do is remove the O-ring, and all of the Furic ceramic cups will just thread right on. It gives you lots of options. You're going to see better gas coverage. You're going to be able to use a longer stick out, less discoloration on stainless steel. So once again, if, you're, if your hardware looks like this, you have a 17, 18, 26 style, and you need a Furic adapter kit to make the Furic cups work. If your hardware looks like this, you have a 920 style, and all you need is the 45V44 to make it work. Or maybe the more convenient way is to just get a combo kit that's got everything you need. At wellmonger.com, we've got your Jazzy 10 kits. We've got two packs. We also sell singles if you just want to try one out or are curious. We've got a full supply of tungsten and TIG filler rod. New products being added weekly. If you're looking for quality welding gear, shop wellmonger.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.